Good evening, family. This is our reading for October the 2nd, and it's entitled, Trust Me, Moment by Moment. Amen. Abba Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time together this evening. We thank you for the gift of prayer and understanding being released, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for taking the scales off our eyes, Lord, so that we can see. Thank you, Abba Father, in advance, Lord, of the reading. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace, family, and blessing to all of us who are here. Whether you're here today, tomorrow, next week, next year, peace and God's blessings to your household. In all of your circumstances, I pray for peace, and I pray for healing and restoration, blessings of safe travel wherever we're going and moving about. I thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, and Lord, peace to everyone who, whose house they enter into. May they enter in peace. Amen. Amen, family. Trust me moment by moment. This is all I require of you, and it is sufficient to keep you standing firm in the midst of fierce spiritual battles. Just getting through each day is a victory as long as you stay in communication with me. Amen. Search for me in your moments. Keeping your focus on my presence is the best protection against self-pity and depression. I am calling you to trust me in my deep darkness. Take one step at a time. I'm sorry. I am calling you to trust me in deep darkness. Take one step at a time clinging to my hand for help and guidance. I am always near you, and I know how much you are struggling. Amen. Yes, Lord. Thou knowest he knew, family. That's our word earlier in the week. Though the battle is fierce and you are weak, your resources are unlimited. My spirit is ever ready to help you. You have only two acts. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Remember that this holy helper is infinitely powerful and infinitely loving. I also am eager to help you. Call upon my name with confident trust, for my unfailing love surrounds you. Amen. There's power in his name, family. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Amen. Psalm 62 verse 8 says, Trust in him at all times. O people, pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Amen. John 14, 16 to 17 from the New Testament. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever, the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, amen, for he dwells with you and will be in you, amen. John 14, verse 16 and 17, and that's the New Testament. And lastly is Psalm 32, verse 10, the Old Testament, and it says, Many are the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the man who trusts in him. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, thank you for the reading itself, Lord, but thank you, Lord, for your precious word, Lord, that can become ingrained on our hearts, Lord, when we read and when we study, Lord, and um, repeat the verses and the scriptures to ourselves, Abba Father. Thank you for the power in your word. Thank you for the reminder. Thank you for the encouragement. Blessing and healing, Lord, upon everyone who hears these readings, Lord. Father, as they bring life to us, Lord, may it bring life to others, Father. For there are some here that are just getting to know you, Lord. 
So, Father, bless them to open up their hearts and their minds, Lord. And, Father, and let you be um, their eye surgeon, that you can remove the scales from our eyes so that we all can see. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, family, for being here. Thank you for your time and your patience. Um, I had a sort of busy day, two days in a row um, at work and um, driving quite a bit. So uh, thank you for being patient and by his grace. Um, I'll see you all in the morning. Um, and in a few moments, I will be uploading um, Proverbs 1 and Proverbs 2. And I'm going to put them on a different... I'm going to save them to a playlist so when you go down on the reading, you'll be able to click on the playlist so that you can listen to the Proverbs or if you want to just uh, listen while you're in your car or if you just want to read along, I'll be using the New King James Version um, uh, to read the Proverbs. So um, I'm going to say good evening. Good afternoon or good night or even good morning, wherever you are on your day. Have a blessed day, family. This is Miss Norma signing off, and by his grace, like I said, I'll see you with our October the 3rd reading on tomorrow morning. Amen. Good night, family. I love you, and remember that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, loves you the best and the most and the greatest. Amen. Good night, family.